hello friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about direct mapping so what is a direct mapping direct mapping is a cache organization technique so there are three main different uh, organization techniques which are used for cache memory one is direct mapping second is set associative mapping and third is associative mapping so in this tutorial we will study about direct mapping so what happens suppose we have a memory main memory and its size is 2 raised to power n words and there is a cache memory its size is 2 raised to power k words right so this is the main memory it is capable of storing 2 raised to power n words and uh, the size of cache memory is 2 raised to power k words. Now what happens whenever CPU needs a data item first it will search in cache right. So how the CPU finds the data item CPU generates its address. So the address which is generated by the CPU to access a data item that address is of main memory right. So since the main memory is capable of storing 2 raised to power n words, so the address in main memory of uh, locations or of words will be of n bits. And in cache memory, the address will be of k bits. Right. So how the CPU can search by n bit address that data item in cache memory. Right. So in direct mapping, what happens? We organize cache in such a way that by using this n bit address of main memory, CPU can search the data item in cache memory. So, how it search? First of all, this n bit address is divided into two parts, right? Rightmost uh, k bits, they are called index, right? and rest of the n minus k bits they are called tag right so now we will consider the memory of block size of one word right now here now in the example which we are going to discuss now in that example we will consider that the block size is of one word right so now how this uh, uh, cache memory is organized in direct mapping suppose there is a word in main memory right and that word is to be transferred in cache memory right so its uh, address main memory address will be divided into index and tag part it will be divided into two parts index and tag so when this data item is transferred in cache then along with that data item its tag will also be stored and in cache it will be stored at that address which is same as the index right it will be clear after this example now see here this is the main memory and it is capable of storing 8 words so here the address is of 3 bits and this is the cache memory right and it has only four words so here the address is of two bits so whenever this suppose this data item d is to be transferred in cache so where it will be stored its address is 011 right so this address 011 it's a three bit address right now since the cache address are of two bits so the rightmost two bits will form index and the remaining leftmost bit will form tag right so when this data item is transferred in cache it will be stored in the cache memory at that address which is same as its index so here the index is 11 so this will be stored in the cache memory at this location because here the address of this location is 11 which is same as its index so d will be stored here 
and it will be stored with its tag so the tag of it is 0 so at this location 1 1 tag and data will be stored similarly suppose this data item e is to be transferred from main memory to cache memory so how we will transfer this uh, data item e from main memory to cache now see the address of uh, this uh, location which uh, contains this data item e the address is 100 so we will divide it into two parts tag and index so here the index is 00 so this data item will be stored in the cache at the location whose address is 00 whose address is same as the index and data item e will be stored along with its tag it's here the tag is 1 so here we will store 1 e so whenever CPU needs a data item, first it will search that data item in cache. So how it will search? The address which is generated by the CPU, it will be divided into two parts, tag and index. Right. So now CPU will access the cache at the address which is same as the index. Right. So first CPU will access that word whose address is same as the index which is specified in address which is generated by the CPU then at that address whatever the tag is stored with the data item that tag is matched with tag specified in the address which is generated by the CPU if there is a match if they are same then it is hit right then the data item is read and it is provided to the CPU right so here we have considered that the block size is one word so what happens when the block size is not one word if it is more then what will happen the index bits are divided into two parts right suppose in cache there are two raised to power b blocks and each block is having two raised to power w words right then the index index uh, will be divided into two parts these uh, leftmost b bits they will specify the block number right and this uh, rightmost bit remaining rightmost bit it means uh, these remaining w bits they will specify the word location In block right for example consider this we have divided the cache into two blocks this is first block this is second block this is block number zero this is block number one this is the first word of block this is second word of block and this is the first word of block number one and this is the second word of block number one this is first word of block number zero and this is second block of second uh, word of block number zero now this uh, whenever the data is to be transferred from main memory to cache it will be transferred in blocks right so main memory is also divided into blocks and each block will be of two words so main memory will be divided into four blocks now suppose this block is to be transferred from main memory to cache memory right now see the address of e and f in main memory right so here the address is 100 and 101 right so in this case the index bits index part is 00 these are the index bits 00 in this address 101 index bits are 01 index part is 01 right so here there are two blocks it means there are two raised to power one block so this in this uh, index the leftmost one bit right this will specify the block number and this will specify the word number in block right so here also 
this leftmost one bit will specify the block number and this will specify the word number in block right so what happen whenever this block is to be transferred in cash so uh, this is uh, their address so we have found that in both the cases block number is zero right and uh, its word number is zero and its word number is one so these two items or we can say this block will be stored in cache memory at block number zero right and this e its address is one zero zero so it will be the first word in the block right it will be stored here along with its tag similarly the second word of the block contains f right so it will also stored in block number zero of cache but its uh, word number is one so it will be the second word right it is word number zero it is word number one so both the e and f will be transferred in block number zero of cache and they will be stored along with their tag here the tag of e is one and here the tag of f is also one right now there is one drawback in direct mapping suppose there are two data items d1 and d2 they are stored in main memory right uh, address of uh, this data item uh, d1 wherever it is stored in main memory is 0 0 1 and suppose the address of location where data item d2 is stored in main memory it is 0 0 0 right now see both the data items address both are having the same index right but their tags are different so in direct mapping in uh, what happens these two data items cannot be placed in cache memory simultaneously right since their index is same right but their tag is different so these two data items have to be stored in the cache memory at same location right because their index is same so this is not possible in this type of cache organization right this is the only drawback in direct mapping so two words which are having the same index but a different tag cannot be stored simultaneously in the cache memory which is using direct uh, mapping cache organization